the hardware and software are now in place. So it's about time to consider training a policy for balancing the legs. But how to go about it all? Well, let's have a look at the legs. Now, at any moment in time, they are in some kind of a state. The state captures the current overall behaviour. For example, the servo positions, are the legs moving, accelerating or rotating? And the job of the policy is to use or interpret this state and decide on the next set of servo actions or movements to make. The Raspberry Pi applies the actions, the legs obey the laws of physics and end up in some new state. And so the cycle continues. So the policy is basically a mapping from the leg's current state to the next set of actions. So how can we train this policy to balance our legs? Well, the simplest option, assuming we already have some expert balancing algorithm, or maybe an expert human pilot, is to let them demonstrate their balancing skills. We collect a sequence of their state action data and use this state and action to train a policy to copy their behavior. I worked through this behavior cloning approach in some other videos to train an RC vehicle on the line following problem. It seemed to work okay for the car. But in our legs example, we don't have this expert to copy from. So what to do? Well, one option is to use some kind of reinforcement learning. Here's my simplistic explanation of how reinforcement learning can be applied. Let's start off with our legs and some arbitrary, possibly random, policy and let it have a go at controlling the legs. It probably doesn't do a great job at balancing the legs, but it gives us some training data to start with. Now with reinforcement learning, the idea is that we need some way of evaluating or assessing how well we are going, or at least how well we went with our balancing task. We need the concept of a reward to help us discover the good balancing behavior. With the legs, one possible reward could be to use the pitch angle of the torso and see how close it is, say, to some desired set point angle. When the actual pitch angle is close to the set point, the reward value is high, and it tails off as you lean a bit too far forward or back. So with our reward definition, we can calculate the value for each of the states in our data, and add this into our data set. Taking a closer look. For each step, our data set now contains a mapping from state plus action to a future reward value. So just like we previously trained a mapping from state to action, we can use our dataset to train a mapping from this state plus action to a future reward. If we can learn this kind of a mapping function, it indirectly gives us our possible balancing policy. For every state we find our legs in, we can use the function to see how the action impacts our future reward which allows us to choose the best action that maximizes the future reward. So if we define our reward correctly, this should provide a way of selecting better actions for balancing the legs. Well, this is the general idea of reinforcement learning and how it can be applied to the legs. In the next video, I will jump into a more concrete example and use the deep deterministic policy gradient algorithm to train the first minimalist policy for the legs. So see you then.